All right, I welcome you to my channel today. And today we want to look at um, another main topic, which is 10 things to do when weight loss seems difficult due to workplace meal. Uh, are you the kind of person that suffers weight loss problem? You are finding it difficult to lose weight just because of probably you don't eat at home or you bring your food or you buy food from, from the office canteen or the kind of food you eat at your workplace is making weight loss very difficult for you. Um, I think you are not left alone. We are in the same point because many times, based on the nature of my work, I find it difficult to lose weight. And I'm here to give you the, the basic thing you can do, the solution to that. Probably your work meal, your workplace diet, your work meal is giving you a problem or is not making you to lose weight or it contributes to your weight gain then we need to sort that out because I noticed that the, the kind of food we eat in our place of work also determines our weight gain or finding good. So if you, are, if you look at the nature of your work, it, it makes you make gain more weight, especially for people who, who, sit, who, who do more sitting work or sit in the office and you find it difficult to, to lose weight because you don't exercise, you only, you're always on the front of a system or you're just doing a sitting one. I have a friend that in my place of work who seems to be gaining weight. I'm also gaining weight also because of the nature of my work because, because the nature of my work is, is just to type, is to, to attend to meals, is like a secretary. And this same person also, she tends to sit more and her hips were getting bigger and broader. But why did Tommy also get bigger and she's feeling embarrassed that she's not losing any weight? I've introduced too many weight loss programs to her, too many weight loss people. She, but these weights... These workplace meals, workplace food, the kind of food we eat in our bulb in the workplace is giving our problem. And so if you also if you have any problems with them due to overheating or slow rate of metabolism, lack of exercise, lack of physical activities, all this leads to unwanted body metabolism and we need to look at that. So what do you do when weight loss seems difficult due to workplace meals, due to workplace diets? This can be corrected by trying to do all this. So, so um, I see myself like, okay, I'm not hitting elderly or I'm just walking, walking, sitting alone in front of a computer for more than eight, ten hours a day. And I try to do some exercises. I know I tell you some things, but it's not working. I'm just getting, the, the, the belly is becoming bigger, the tire is becoming bigger, and we too. So what are we going to do? These are some of the things we need to do. And the first one is, if your workplace is... The kind of food you eat at your workplace is giving you a problem, you are, not, you are finding it difficult to lose weight, then try to bring your own food or lunch snacks. So if you notice that you are finding it hard to lose weight and you are gaining more weight, despite the fact that you are going to work every day, then you have to bring your, what you need to be bring your own food. Because if you, sell, if, you make, or if you make your own food or select your own food, then you can buy something with less calories, less fat, less sugar, less everything. All these things contribute to weight gain. So when you bring your own fresh foods, I think it's going to make a lot of sense because you are going to control how you, how you add calories to your body. So you can do away with less of junk, less of oil, less of animal fats, and add more vegetables. So if you notice that your workplace meal is, give, is, adding, is making you to add more fats, then the next thing you need to do is bring your food. Then also learn to say no. Like I noticed that in my place for many times now, there was a time for almost a month, people were doing birthday, people were celebrating one thing, and we keep on taking soft drinks every day. In fact, twice a day, we're just taking soft drinks, soft drinks, soft drinks, snacks, 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 and at the end of the second month, everybody seems to have gained fat. So if you are in this category, and if you are, if you are losing weight, or if you are not losing weight due to your workplace activities or workplace food, then it's time for you to say no. Trust me, I'm to say no to anything that's been offered to you, soft drinks, rich in fat, food rich in fat, sugar, snacks, which are high in calories. You can either tell them you are on a weight loss plan so that you, can't, so that you won't be tempted to. So I think that's that. Then you also need to keep off, to just keep food off site. Um, some people, when they see another person eating junk food, eating fried rice with chicken, big chicken and all those, and they tend to join. But for people who are still that are working on their weight loss and trying as much as possible to, to reduce this, this, the fat or to cut down or to be in a weight loss, you need to have the, the habit of not making your desk filled up with food. So just take, a, take a, your site off food and, and be dedicated. Then you also need to eat less because one of the one of the sure ways you can lose weight in any part of your body, in any part of the world, and if, even in your workplace, it's just not possible to eat less. Whenever you're eating, eat less of high calorie foods, eat less of junk, eat less of snacks, drink less of soft drinks because all those things are sugar and they, they, they add more calories to your system and we're able to digest them easily. Then stay away from sugary foods as well. So if you're looking at ways ways to overcome um, weight gain and you're getting difficult in losing weight because of your workplace diet, the kind of food you eat in your workplace, the kind of food that's been served to you, then you have to least eat, try as much as to eat less of sugary foods. I have a friend who seems to be, I told you about a friend, a female friend who seems to be begging, having a big stomach and just, I just, just takes off 
take off your eyes off soft drinks and snacks and her belly and her pattern seems to be going down which is better and healthier then you also need to walk more um, if I, I said something like I said earlier if you're in this category and your big your tummy is breaking bigger everything is getting bigger and your place of work and she sent to six so when you are doing all these things then you need you need to put all of this into consideration then you need to eat less of junk food and work more so like if you notice that you are, you are among those people who are gaining weight due to your lost your, your office or your kind of workplace meals or diet, then you need to try as much as possible. Some you can still be taking those food and you can still be working. So what's because of the kind of food you eat at a workplace which is which is fatty and you have little no little or no exercise, you can overcome this by working. You don't need to work you don't need to work around the office like someone who's looking for something. But at the close of work in the evening, or, after, or if you are going home, you can take time to walk some distance before joining the bus or taking your car. Walk 30 minutes, 40 minutes, 15 minutes, one eye. They continue to walk. Because this walking exercise is one of the best that keeps the body fit. It helps get rid of excess fat, and it improves blood circulation to the upper part of the body. And so for anything that improves blood circulation to the other part of the body, that, it, that reduces fat, and that also keeps you fit, then that's one of the best exercises that can keep you slim. And you, you can... Um, even if your, your office meal are making you grow fat and you're having difficulty in losing it, then use the stairs more. That means stairs climbing. And so if you're in this category, find time to like use the stairs. Don't use the lifts. You can overcome this by climbing the stairs more by using the, without using the lifts. So you, don't, so you can use your, your normal climbing of the stairs as your lift. So you don't just like climbing up and down, but, but at the slight opportunity you find yourself, use the stairs. This because because climbing, stair climbing is also a cardio exercise that also keeps the body fit. So if, it, if, it's, if actually you are finding it difficult to lose weight, then climb the stairs because it can help you get rid of excess fat and improve blood circulation as fast as possible. Because in any weight loss program, in any weight exercise, cardio exercise are exercises that, that, that makes you breathe faster and stair climbing is also one of them. So if we want to really lose weight and stay slim, then you need to do some cardio. And stair climbing is also one of them. So, all these things put together are what will help you to lose weight, even while your off, while your workplace office is making you find it difficult to lose this weight. And and you also need to select your diet. Like um, one of the ways you can monitor your weight loss success, even if you work, if your workplace meal or plan or diet is making you gain weight, but you can, can select your diet. Try low fatty foods, low sugary foods. Go low on snacks, on chin chin, on junks and soft drinks. All these things will help you. Even if you are eating the meal and you are getting fat, you are not, not working or you are exercising your body, you are not feeling anything, then select your diet and don't be like a gluten that just continue eating. And um, the last one which I'm going to look at is weekend exercise. And for like people who are, for like bloggers, for internet marketers, for content creators, and people who work online most, most of the time, mostly, you have no other way because you'll be having weight while you're sitting down spend your time on the system or if you're a secretary trying to do one or two things but I can recommend weekend exercise them because if your workplace is making you add more weight and you're finding difficult to lose weight or burn fat then why can't you work at weekends there are weekend exercises that are very good there are exercises weekend you can do on weekends which are very good and some of these include skipping r- r- I mean running jogging etc and because like me now when I wake up on Saturday morning um, even if I've worked from Monday to Friday, you can actually do some kilometers, jog some six kilometers. It will help you. If you do that on Saturday, on Sunday, it can carry for the weekend. You'll not be having, even if you are idle or your physical activity is low, or you are still taking these meals. But as far as you are, as you are exercising your body on Saturdays and Sundays, on weekends alone, like skipping, like running, like jogging, it will help you out. So you can also go for weekend exercise. So in summary of what, of everything we have been saying since when it comes to things to do when, when weight loss seems difficult, to workplace meal, then let me start from the last one. We said that um, you have to go for weekend exercise, like skipping, like jogging, like running. Then you have to select your diet. Then I also said that if you look, you, you just select your friends so that people can help you help you achieve your aim. Then you have to use the stairs more. The staircase, you have to walk more. Like that, that's more like walking exercise. And you have to stay away from sugary foods and fatty foods. And you have to eat less and eat less of junk food, eat less of high calorie foods. Then keep off it offside. Then learn to say no. I think the, and the first one I said is try to bring your own food. Let your food be rich in vegetables and fruits. Let it be vegetables and fruits. And at times you can also switch meal. Some of you taking those lunch, you can go and buy banana or go and buy apple, pineapple, and make a salad for yourself and eat it. All those things are good. Please, if you have any 
any observation, any comment, you can use the comment box and so that we can get to you as fast as possible. And you can also subscribe to our channel so that you can get latest from this health side. Thank you. See you in our next post. Please subscribe to this channel.